welcome everyone to our closing ceremony for our stellar vacation Bible school. We've been on a mission and you know what, Captain Christina, we have some new recruits in here, so we might have to pack in some more moon pies and RC colas. All right. Welcome, welcome. We're so glad you're here. We've enjoyed those families that brought their children. We so enjoyed having them with us. So we are going to start with a hymn, unless you had something to say first. I'll start with, okay. I'll start with an announcement. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody has gotten these uh, trifold uh, brochures that we have that has the church on the uh, sanctuary on the front of it. Uh, because there's information throughout it to tell you more details about our church and what, what we do and what we're about. Um, but especially, I want to bring your attention to this middle section at the bottom on the inside where it says Children and Youth Ministries. Uh, we, one of the delights about having Vacation Bible School this year, um, after two years of... Uh, the COVID thing, and then now another year where uh, life is going back to normal. It was wonderful to see some of the ch children who are now youth, who used to be in the children's program here. And, um, and so we're eager to be having a children and youth ministry activities going on again. We're looking to decide on which evening to start with for our uh, gatherings uh, that uh, we're also looking to determine if we're going to be able to start with one night or evening a week uh, or if we'll start with doing something once a month. And so we're looking for your input. If you would call the church office number and leave a message for me about uh, times and days that would work for your family, uh, we'll take that into consideration in order to uh, reach, uh, connect with the most number of, of people and families that we can. Right now, it looks like Sunday, or early Sunday evening would be probably our best time, that we don't already have things scheduled. But we'll move things around if we need to in order to be able to uh, be in ministry with the children and youth again. So we're so delighted about it. Uh, please be sure to take a look at the various things that are there. Uh, you also have a song sheet today that is for the opening hymn and the closing hymn. And all the rest of the songs and singing and, th and, and things will be our Vacation Bible School. But these two hymns uh, fit with the theme of our Vacation Bible School. The first one that we're going to be singing is Send the Light. Send the Light. And um, so you'll see that on one side of the page. The last one we sing is Shine, Jesus, Shine. And that's the flip side. And I just want to let you know there's two paragraphs there. And you'll see that each of the paragraphs have... Uh, at the, at the very bottom, the first paragraph, there's two lines that we, once we get through that line, we'll repeat that line. And then go on to the second paragraph. When we get to the end of that paragraph, you see the last three lines, we'll repeat that again. Does that make sense or do I need to say it a different way? Perfect. Makes sense? Okay. Very good. So we'll start with the first hymn on the song sheet. Oh, we're going to sing over here. There's a call around the ringing o'er the restless waves and the light, send the light.
first. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of shiny, we're going to have our junior cadets come up and we're going to sing the song Shine for you guys. So come on up guys. You can stand about where your crew was for vacation Bible school. Call me go cadets. Come on guys. <laughs> Don't be shy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we come. Oh, you look so beautiful and dressed up, everybody. Bright and shiny.
sit down because we're going to shine and show your families and our friends at church what you've been learning. We've been doing Bible points. And day one, does anyone remember who was our buddy? Who was the buddy for day one? Don't everybody call out of us? Day one. Somebody said it. Cosmo. Okay, let's do the motions for Cosmo. When light feels dark, shine Jesus light. All right. Now, what about day two? Who was day two? Anybody? Oh, Ringo. Ringo. Thank you, Cadet Brenda. <laughs> when people don't get along, we did like buddy um, heads like Billy Goats. When people don't get along, shine Jesus light. Oh, I've got a joke about Ringo. I just have to do it during uh, snack time. So bear with me for one more. Okay, it's a knock knock. Knock knock. Yeah. Ringo. Ringo. Ringo round the rosy. I'll be at a Starlight Theater next week. Some more. All right, day three. What was day three? Luna. Luna, and that's your group. Good job. Okay, now for Luna, when what? What did we say? When good things happen, shine Jesus light. All right. Now, way over here, day four. Who remembers day four? What was the sunny guy's name? Yes. Oh, did she say it? What is it? Say it. Can you say it? had soul. All right, so what was it that we did? What was the uh, saying for our friend's soul? Do you remember? When people are sad, shine Jesus light. All right, you guys are doing super. Okay, what about day five? What was day five? It was the comment. What was her name? <laughs> was it ha ha? Starts with a ha Sam? Yes. Yeah, very good. All right. And she reminded us that when people I need <laughs> I've got to need help to see it from over here. When people need help, shine. Jesus light. Awesome. Now, I have some hand motions to help you guys remember what we've been talking about with our Bible stories. And you can go home and tell them to your family and then to your friends at school. So, Jesus came to earth as a baby. Right. He ministered he preached and he healed. So do a little walking figure. Then what did he die on? The cross, right. But you know what? He didn't stay dead, did he? And you know, if you've ever seen a cocoon, it's wrapped up like this. He was in the grave. But then what happened? He resurrected. And what comes comes from the cocoon of the caterpillar? Butterfly. That's right. Awesome, guys. Give yourselves a hand. Okay. Now. All right. You guys can go back to your seats for now. That was super. Thank you for helping me. All right, during vacation Bible school, we 
had some God sightings. And those could be things like um, somebody gave me a smile or a hug, or someone helped me. I made a friend at Vacation Bible School. And we had a couple of those where uh, some of our junior cadets were helping their leaders. And we had a lot of help with our Kid to Kid program. And that's doing something for the community. Well, we chose to do the community, our church, for the food pantry. So our mini rover over there, we have filled it up with cereal and canned goods. So Miss Marcia has some stacking to do, right? <laughs> I'll help him. Uh, we'll help take it over there. Okay? <laughs> so we had a lot of God sightings for that, and some of the leaders helped to bring it in. And just seeing the smiles on the boys and girls' faces, and just the way they joined in and sang, and just had a great time. And they had good listening hearts, too. And we also had some boys and girls that got saved. Praise the Lord. All right. So, let's see. What else is on the agenda here? Okay. Oh, it's time to sing again. So, come back up, friends. We're going to sing a song again. All the junior cadets report for duty up here.
we have two friends that are going to come up and share. So let's do our countdown. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Well, friends, we're at the end of our time here at Stellar BBS. I was doing some inspections on my um, spaceship and I noticed there's some screws that have dropped off, hoses disconnected, and I'm not sure how to fix all that. Do you have any ideas how I can fix our spaceship? Where's Vicky? <laughs> See all the stuff that fell off? Uh oh. Did I hear somebody talking about fixing a spaceship? <laughs> well, I think I may be able to help out the, on this. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that, Mickey, because I have some serious issues with my spaceship, and I could really use some help with it. I know you're busy, you know, with your captain's journey to your journey on to being a captain. But if you think you could please spend some time of your time and knowledge to help us? Well, of course. I mean, you gave me so much help this week, you and all of your friends. I would love to help you with it, with anything that you need. I'm so glad to hear that. Thanks so much. Well, <clears throat> let's take a look here. Okay. I, I see that you have uh, some thermo whatchamajiggies and a few whirly twirly gags. Um, and down here, uh, there's, there's a, uh, well, here's a wacky doodle daddy. And, and then finally, of course, you have the Twinkie tra transport system, okay? And so, can't do without your Twinkie transport system. All right? Wow, are those really what these things are called? Well, no, not really. Uh, they all have really fancy scientific names, but they're hard to remember, so I just make up my own. Um, so I just, uh, I'll take these, and I see that with all of the things that you have here, if that's all that your ship needs, then I will certainly be able to have your, your ship all fixed up uh, within about an hour, ready to go home. Yay! I am so glad to have Solar Group's finest mechanic on the case. <laughs> and you won't be a mechanic much longer. Soon you'll be Captain Mickey Way, taking his spaceship where no one else has gone. <laughs> well, actually, I'm still Mechanic Mickey Way. <laughs> what? I well, thought you were on your way to being a captain. Well, I was, but I got the results back today, and even though I did really good on my um, written test, and I did really good on my hands-on test, um, they chose somebody else to be captains for now. Oh. Oh, Mickey, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, don't worry about fixing my ship. I know you are just must be so disappointed. Do you want to talk about it? Well, no, I, um, I think that I would still like to take care of your ship because uh, I was sad at first, but then I realized that as a mechanic, I get to help all of the captains and I get to help all of the crews and uh, whenever they need it most. And so um, you've been teaching me about shining Jesus' light and helping me to take uh, uh, with being a, okay with being a mechanic uh, because I realized that I can be uh, I can be my way that can be my way of shining Jesus' light as I'm helping other people I'm able to shine Jesus' light for the people that I work with wow when people need help shine Jesus' Excellent cadets, you are shining, and Mickey, you are shining Jesus' light to me right now by helping me get my ship up and running. Plus, I see Jesus' kindness as you're using your gifts for us. You are shining Jesus' light 
even when you are maybe very disappointed. So that's incredible. Really, you think so? I know so. Well, I couldn't have done it without you and my new friends. Uh, because y'all helped me so much to see Jesus' life for the first time. And I'm going to get started now working on to get your ship ready so that you can be back to Earth safe and sound. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey and Hungary. All right, now we have something very special to give out to our junior cadets. Change of order.
Christina for putting that slideshow together for us. In the pictures, just a reminder, back in the back by Sandy is a photo op. And so if you want to take some more pictures of your, your little ones later or some of the leaders get together, it's back there. There's a star and you can stand by Pre-K's Astro. Um, here comes a future cadet. Yay! All right. So right now we have a special presentation for all of you junior cadets. And I think Captain Christina is coming down. What we're going to do is we'll let you take this to your parents to hold because you have several other things that you're going to get to take home. Don't you agree, Captain Christina, that the junior cadets should move up to a cadets now? Absolutely. I think they passed the mission to the moon, and they did an awesome, out-of-this-world job. So let's give them a hand. All right. So let's move over here. See how far the board will go. Okay. So we had some boys and girls that asked Jesus into their hearts. And so one of the first Bibles that we have is for Leighton Gaines. Is Leighton here? Okay. We'll get that to him. What about Eli Elwin? No. Okay. You want to, you want to take it to Miss Mary? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And then we have Landon Gaines. Oh, okay. Thank you. There you go. There's one of our helpers, too. We have some awesome new helpers. All right. And then we have Lainey Gaines. Is Lainey here? Oh. <laughs> Might as well wait up here. <laughs> All the L. Hines group. <laughs> That's half of our vacation Bible school. <laughs> Thank you, Heinz family. Okay, now Alani, tell me, come up. We'll take that to mom and she'll hold it for you. Alea, come up. Uh, we are so enjoying your smiles. They don't have to shine. All right. And um, Ayla, Ayla, thank you, Ayla. She was a good helper too. Now pre-K, we didn't forget you. We got special little pre-K beginner Bibles for you guys. Okay? So we got Kaylina Green. Come on up. And then we have Hannah Booner. And Grayson Ware. Is Grayson not here? Okay. We'll just put that down here. All right. So, are you wanting to do their certificates first? Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out today. Um, I can't say how much of a stellar time we've had this week. Um, it's been such a blast to come out and see these kids each and every night. Um, my favorite part is, is to watch them grow. One day they're, they're kind of timid, they're kind of scared, and then by Friday they're just little blossoming shooting stars. <laughs> Um, this has probably been, um, this is my third year directing a BBS. Uh, I have to say I've had probably the best crew I could have asked for and the best kids I could have asked for. So give them a hand. And, and I just want to say thank you guys for bringing out your kids today and just celebrating with us to see what these kids have done this week. Um, it's, it's going to be such a sad day that we're all done. We won't get to see each other anymore each day. 
But I hope you guys will continue to bring out your kids each um, as we get more events going um, throughout the year. And maybe we'll have another VBS next year. I hope you bring them to it to next year. Um, so this VBS, it wouldn't have been possible, he said, without my amazing stellar crew. And I would like to recognize each of our helpers this week. Uh, Mr. Fred. Yay. <laughs> there he helped with uh, our crew this week. Miss Elaine R. absolutely killed it with registration, made it seamless for you guys to get your kids in and out, so we want to thank her. Miss Carla? She did a, our Bible adventures and did such a great job and we enjoyed that. Miss Lori? She helped uh, get our delicious snacks together. So we, had, we didn't go hungry. <laughs> Absolutely. Miss Patty. Another one of our awesome snack helpers. And decorators. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Mary. was an awesome helper in our pre-K room. Mr. Toby. He, he made our Miss Little rocket. rocket and he hung our vacation Bible school sign. Yeah. Come here. Let's see, you got yours. It's a bottom porch. There you go. There it is. Mr. Tony <laughs> helped with our game. Miss Dot. Yeah. She was an awesome helper with PK. Miss Brenda. She helped with our mad science experiments and imagination station. Some of them didn't work. Miss Linda. great job while we were watching videos and learning about other kids' lives to how to relate to. Mr. Ron, he helped with our decorating. We didn't even have it when he was here. Yeah. <laughs> it's the big <nickname> stretch. <laughs> Miss Susan. Miss Marianne. She did such an awesome job on my crew this year, too. Thank you. Miss Valerie. She did a great job with our skits, as you can see, with Mickey Way. And the stars. Yeah. She did it like the best star out of all of us all along this ball, so what is the shame? You can give her a star. Pastor Frank. Yeah. Black Mickey Way. AKA Mickey Way. Like Milky Way, only different. <laughs> he painted some stars. And he dealt with games. Yeah. And then, hmm, I wonder who this is for. <laughs> Miss Elaine H, who's that? I don't know, my name's Sparkle. Yeah, I should have put the dead Sparkle on her. AKA Mom. Yeah. Let me just say, without my mom, that none of these BBSs would ever happen. She is truly, we are partners in crime. 
together in this, and every year, I just, this is our bonding every year that we love doing this. And sometimes I wonder, I think we both tell ourselves, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> are we, have we gone insane yet? <laughs> no, we, we really, watching the kids and talking about this each and every year, it touches our hearts each year, and we, we really, truly enjoy this. And honestly, if it wasn't for her, um, all the years that she did a VBS and seeing what God had stoked inside of her to pass it on to me, I, I just love you so much. Thank you. The vision that the Lord has given her, that uh, she just went with it, and she had an amazing um, director at the other church she was at, and so that really helped to hone her skills so that she could bring it to us. So, so love you. I think we should promote her to captain as well in this week. <laughs> <laughs> captain Sparkle. <laughs> okay. So next, now we have our kids that joined us this week, our cadets. And I know you guys are so excited to get all your goodies that we promised you and hold on to for this week. I'm going to tell you about pre-K. going to get their extra bags. Yes, um, pre-K, not everything's going to be in your bags. Um, you're going to see Miss Dot or Miss Susan or Miss Mary afterwards and go to the pre-K room, correct? Okay. All right. They need so much. They had it. I know. They're going to have so much to put on the refrigerator at home. <laughs> and I'm going to apologize if they don't pronounce, mispronounce anybody's names. Ayla Brewer. Hannah Bunner. Yay! <laughs> and I know Eli's not here, but we'll give him a hand. Eli Ellen. Layton Gaines. Landon Gaines. Oh, wait. Oh, she's getting them. You need a big bag. <laughs> and Lainey Gaines. Lena Green. Alani Tony. And Alea Tony. Let's give our kids one more big round of applause. I think I just heard from Star Command. There's a special message. Can you hold the mic for a minute? Sing us a song. <laughs> you don't want to hear me sing. God gave you that. What do I hear? <laughs> Star Command and your crew lead leaders thought you did an awesome, out of this world job with Vacation Bible School. So we've got a special bouquet for you. And I'll show you what's in the star bag. So hold this. In here you have a candle so you can keep shining Jesus light. And here's your card and a love gift from all of us. Oh, thank you. So, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Captain Sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, we have another message from Star Command. I didn't get that one. <laughs> it came from higher up. <laughs> so I got it. Okay. And and uh, Captain Sparkle, you've been doing such a great job here on this assignment. 
that you're being uh, promoted to Admiral Sparkle, and here are your papers for your next assignment. Well, thank you, sir. I will try my best. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I appreciate um, serving with you. It was an awesome job. We love you. Love you too. <laughs> love you back. Okay, and I have one more thing that I want to do before um, we uh, share an invitation and uh, ask the blessing. Uh, I'm going to ask that uh, the three chairs here slide into this nook over here for the moment so that you don't get run over. <laughs> okay. And I told, the, I told the kids that uh, we would have one of our games that we did uh, during Vacation Bible School. Um, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that our pack of seven boys aren't here uh, because they were very energetic in this game. But the more entertaining are the girls. And, uh, but I will, I will invite the two of you and uh, our helper back here that's... Uh, gathered up the whole, the, all the equipment from their, uh, from their clan, um, and, and actually these two gentlemen here, if you want to, you can step up too. Don't decide just yet until you hear what it is, okay? <laughs> all right? And uh, do we have any other? Oh, and, if, and if you like, you can step up as well, but you, you'll hear what it is first, okay? This is how it works. Um, now, I, I do need... I do need my uh, space police to come out and help me, the ones that don't have their hands full of food at the moment. Uh, but, so at least I've got two here, right? All right, if y'all come up, and uh, we have another space police, they're going to demonstrate. Come on up, space police. They're going to demonstrate, and then um, I'm going to give some of the parents or grandparents the opportunity to be space police as well. Now, did you catch that part? Some of the parents and grandparents will have an opportunity to volunteer to be space police after you see how it goes. Now, oh, I had two cones. There they are. I'm going to be the finish line. Uh, space police, y'all get out in the middle. Kids, y'all come up here. I need you two to help on this one. Have you ever played Red Light, Green Light? It's like that, okay? It's like that, only different. All right? And these ladies are here, and the way that the game works, oh, you can play too. The way that this game works is that um, when I say go, then you start. Uh, Moving your way up there, and I'll be the finish line, touching the one of my hands to finish. Now, the goal of the game is not so much to get there first. The goal of the game no, is to not smile. Okay? And so, while you're on this journey, and the space police will stop you whenever I say stop, they will come and check to make sure you're not smiling. Okay? And you're already having a little bit of trouble with it. <laughs> Uh, one, of, one of my favorite ones on this game, every time I looked at it, she smiled. And with braces, you can just see the, the shiny line. So, okay. So we're going to play the game. You're going to want to watch their faces as they work really hard not to smile. Now remember, you can't put your hands over your face. Just hold your smile down. But don't, don't put your hands over it. And don't throw yourself on the ground. If you fall on the ground, get back up because we have to be able to see your face. And I don't want to get on the floor to see your face. Okay? All right. Oh, this is the starting line. You can be anywhere behind this. You can spread out. That's the starting line, so spread out a little bit. Okay. Y'all get up, uh, scatter up there. Okay, let's you gotta see out here. Now, some of the boys, they had the sternest faces, and as soon as they started running, joy on their face and big old smiles. So we can stop. So we catch them as soon as they started running. The boy just love, boys love to run. Valerie pointed that out to me. Okay. Go! Stop! 
ahead. You can sing with us. All right. The next song, you guys should know this one. It's Turn Your Eyes on Jesus. It has a little bit of a peppy beat, and then it's going to go into like a worshipful part to it. So let's stand and sing that good junior cadence. and that you would continue to bless these boys and girls as they go back to their families, friends, at school, that they would shine your light and they would feel your light and presence with them. We thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Okay, Pastor, your invitation and then uh, blessing. So if you... Uh... This message is especially for the, the children and youth who are here, those that were children uh, here for Vacation Bible School, and the youth who were here to help us to work with the, with the children. Um, God offers us an invitation. The invitation is that uh, we can let God's life into our lives. We can invite God into our lives through Jesus Christ. And that's why we had the theme of the Vacation Bible School um, that uh, Jesus shines the light into the world. And we can ask him to shine his light through us. And that's just the beginning of the journey. It's not the end of the journey. When we ask Jesus into our hearts and we ask him into our lives, we ask that he would help us to walk in through our lives 
in the way that he would have us to live, a way that will be a blessing not only to other people, but a blessing in our own lives. And so when you come to the place where you're asking Jesus, whether a child or teenager or an adult, uh, that you're asking Jesus into your life, uh, you're inviting God's Holy Spirit to dwell in you. And God comes and dwells in us so that we can be strengthened to live the life as sons and daughters of God. And so that we can be equipped and empowered, like charging the batteries up, for us to shine God's light in the world. It's the beginning of a journey. And, uh, and it's kind of like uh, with the space thing that we're talking about, star date 2023.7. We're going on a journey where man has not gone before. And that is a journey from this life on earth into eternity with God. And so when life ends on this earth and eternity begins for us, where do you want to be? Lost and apart from God in the darkness of sin? Or do you want to be in the light of God and in His glory? And do you want to be um, apart and separated from everybody? Because... If we are in heaven with God, we get to be with and see those who are there as well. But if we are apart from God, we don't have fellowship. It's not like we get to hang out with the other bad kids. It's that we are apart from God, we are apart from others, and, and there's, there's loneliness and such. Um, so, our objective when we let the light shine through our lives is to, to shine the light for other people so they can know God. It's as simple as that. Our job is not to run around saying, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That's not our job. God tells us that with the Bible. So if we can introduce people to God through Jesus, and then they can learn from God what to do and what not to do. And that's why we've given you Bibles and that's why I, I encourage that you read it a little bit each day. Um, those of you that are kind of young for reading by yourself, you can tap mom, you can tap dad, you can tap your older sister or older brother and say, read this to me for a little while. Now I encourage that you start in the books that are kind of toward the back, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, because those are the stories, they tell the stories about Jesus. And you can read each of those and learn many, many, many more stories about Jesus. All right, let's, uh, let's ask God's blessing on our meal together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together. We thank you for this celebration and uh, the fun that it was to focus our, our attention on you through Jesus Christ. And I pray that as we share this meal together, not only would you nourish our bodies with the food, but you nourish our spirits with the fellowship that we might be bond, bonded together as uh, friends here in the community and as brothers and sisters in faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So, um, which end of the table are we going to start on? Okay, so if the you last go... hymn, Pastor. Yes. Yeah, oh, thank you. We're going to have the last hymn. And after the hymn, uh, then we'll head towards those doors and where Valerie is and then come this way. All right, let's sing our last hymn. Remember that in each of the paragraphs, you, we're going to repeat the, the uh, last two and then the last three lines.